Hello darlings, hello darlings, um, it's your big sister here, welcome to the channel, welcome to a new vlog, if you are new here, welcome and I hope you'll enjoy your stay, if you've been watching and you haven't subscribed, please consider to subscribe, and to the returning darlings, uh, welcome back my darlings, um, I just thought let me quickly come through and chat with you guys, I'm at the salon, it's my maintenance day today so i came in i had a nine o'clock appointment to do my nails so that's done and then i just did a blowout on my hair as well but i want to plait my hair so the lady is just finishing off with her client now and um then when she's done um, then it's gonna be my turn but i it's 12 o'clock and i haven't eaten anything today so i'm just quickly driving out to a nearby kfc just to grab myself a, a quick bite then i'll come back and we're gonna do my plates so yeah i just thought let me come through and greet you guys and open the vlog um yeah i'll catch up with you as this vlog goes ahead hope everybody is doing well i am and yeah i'll catch up with you guys later Right. Yeah, please. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes, ma'am. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. I got this. I think they call it a crunch master. And it's actually quite enjoyable. Maybe it's because I'm hungry. <laughs> but anyway, I'll talk to you guys later. It was such a long thing but anyway i had planned for most of today to go do maintenance stuff but i did not realize it would take this long but anyway because i had prepared for it um i'm i'm fine i'm not complaining much um yeah i I am a little tired though because you know sitting at the salon for a while can be tiring but I'm home now and yeah I did my plaits I did my plaits it's um it's how it's flat up until here and the rest is braids I have not done plaits in a while actually this year I've really been trying to preserve my hair well that's what I I thought um, that I'm preserving my hair. I'm not going to do a lot of hairstyles and things like that. I But it, I was just getting tired of um, um, having to always comb my hair. Last week, I laid it down with gel um, for a few days. I liked that, but yeah, I thought, let me rather go and uh, do braids, which I'm very excited about. Um, if you know me, you know that I love this is this is me. I used to always be in braids, plaids, um, different kinds. Um, I always just preferred to keep my hair like this. It's easier, and yeah. But in the last in the last year and a half, if not two, I've really not been doing much with my hair. I'm actually just realizing that. 
you know it's amazing that you you might find you might be in limbo for a long time without even realizing that you are i'm really realizing that i've been in limbo for so long because of um depression and um you you know i even used started saying i, I don't like to plait my hair anymore and that's far from the truth like i say if you know me people who are on this channel who know me for a long time will tell you that i always kept my hair uh, plaited and i was thinking i was starting even to say i, I don't like plaits i don't like this and that i don't like that it's amazing how illness um can change your perspective uh, in life or just being not being well in 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 different ways it can totally totally change um certain things about yourself which is which is quite quite saddening actually uh but yeah i'm i'm excited and it's little things you know that make me realize that um i'm going back to myself you know i can little things that I used to enjoy doing all things that just used to you know bring me excitement and things like that um which i was just not doing anymore and so blinded to those things slowly slowly coming back to me and um yeah man it's exciting and i'm excited for myself because i can live again i'm also realizing that that for a few years i literally was not living i you know you get to when you've been through what i've been through and are now coming back to yourself you would understand when people talk about um somebody who is 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 alive but they're dead when you haven't experienced it sometimes we say it because we have some form of an understanding of what it means but when you've experienced it, then it, it, the meaning is, is, is much, much more clearer um, because it's not like you are dead as in, but you are literally dead because you die to things that um, make you you. You know, you are, you are dead because those things, you just don't do those things anymore. Therefore, I totally understand now what it really means when people say, you are alive but you are dead because like wow it's amazing but it's exciting at the same time for me it really really is, is exciting um because it just brings back a lot of things that i love you know a lot of things that i enjoy um yeah and i'm looking forward to those things anyway we were talking about hair and now i just went everywhere but anyway <laughs> I'm back home. Uh, yeah, so I did my hair and I did my nails. Um, this is actually a color I don't gravitate towards much. I'm more of that bent orange, coral orange color. That's what I like. And I think it, it, it complements my skin tone. Or I would do a red or this deep pink those are usually colors that i go for when i go to do my nails but i just felt like i wanted something mellow something quiet so i went for this color but i think it's nice um yeah i think it's nice so i did that but i also did a blowout uh, first before i plaited my hair but yeah i'm happy that for the next few weeks at least two weeks or so or three weeks at least um I'm, i've organized myself in a I've done my maintenance. It's quarter to six. Um, I have a live with Joey on at seven. So I just want to quickly have make myself a cup of, of tea or coffee and sit a bit just to have a breather so that I'm good company uh, when she hosts me on uh, at seven. Uh, I posted on my community post about the live two days ago. I hope most of you have seen it and I hope you will join us so that you can ask whatever questions that you have or just uh, participate in the conversation with us. Um, if you haven't seen it, um, yeah, I can't even say I'll record it because I'm going to join the live using my phone. So, but I think Joey saves the lives on her channel i'll leave her i'll leave her handle so that you can uh, go there and watch our our live 
and yeah i'm excited for that oh i wanted to say thank you for the love you've shown the vlog the previous vlog where i went to lunch with my kids uh, people were quite excited to see me with my children which is understandable because i hardly feature uh, them on the vlog i'm cognizant of the fact that i'm the one who wanted to start a youtube channel so yeah yeah, but every now and again it's nice to have them on on the on one of my vlogs anyway let me see you guys as the vlog progresses thank you so much for your support i truly appreciate it and um it's been quite nice to see a lot of um my fellow 50 plus on the channel it always excites me to come to see people in their 40s, their 50s and above uh, coming into the YouTube space, whether from a, consum a content consumption perspective or from a content creation perspective. It's just nice. I like it when people uh, come into the space because in reality, that's where the world has moved towards. Everything is uh, digital and it's more and more um, moving into like be everything being entrenched into a digital space. So it's nice to see people um, older familiarizing themselves with the space because that's where the world is at. And, um, you know, for each and every one of us to find their little corner of something that they can do in the space. So, yeah, um, it's been nice to see quite a number of um, 40 and 50 plus in the environment. Anyway, let me make my tea and catch up with you guys later. Uh, have yourselves an awesome weekend. Take good care of yourselves. Um, all right then. Mwah. Hello darlings. Hello darlings. I hope you are well. Uh, I am happy Saturday. Um, I'm waiting for the kitten guy to come. He's coming to hang my kittens. I'm excited. Um, yeah, I think they will really um, make a an impact in the space i think it will give the space a different feel um and i really hope it's what i envision in my head and yeah i'm i'm just looking forward to that, that feeling of, ref of a refreshed space um yeah so he's just uh, texted me to say he's on his way and yeah let's wait for him and see what the kitten looks like. kittens look like when he comes i will show them to you um yeah i'll i'll just take you along with me in the process as he does the, in, the hanging it's not an install he's just gonna hang them up um and he's gonna put up the rails um the rods and then yeah put them the kittens up so I'm excited. I really am excited. I think it's going to give the space a different feel, which I'm really um, desiring. I just want, you know, just a little bit of niceness in, in the space. All right. Uh, let's wait for, let's wait for that, the mic.
kitchen it gives that um farmhouse i was talking about i really really love it the view is not great because there's cars outside uh but uh, it doesn't matter but the nice thing is that it just brings in so much light from the outside when it's opened during the day so this is the blind love it love it love it for me um it definitely speaks to what i like and this is the curtain from the lounge we got a double rail so at least i uh, will be able to hang the cat the lining behind i just need to do hi so we have to put i'm gonna have to put polyfill on the holes and then uh, put paint on i like the dining room one a whole lot more it also goes down to the floor um yeah i think it looks so good and it just complements the space so nicely so yeah and then i took the curtain that i was in the lounge and i put it in the other bedroom this is the bedroom that I'm going to use as my working space. As you can see, the desk is there. So that was the kitchen hanging situation, darlings. Um, yeah, Mike is done. And he did, his work is actually pretty decent. He's prepared to travel anywhere around Joburg to do the work. So if you would like his services do let me know um he'll still come back to do a blind in my dressing room and a blind in the bathroom um and yeah now there's other things you know that i wish i could just do and get out of the way all at once but yeah one step at a time i'm happy with what has happened so far I just wanted to show you the curtains because I had told you in the previous vlog. So just to show you what it looks like. 
all right um i'll catch up with you as the vlog progresses um all right darlings take good care of yourselves watching the vlog up until now if you have enjoyed it please remember to give a, a, give it a like press that like button so that our video can be recommended to other people and then we can grow this channel thank you very much for your love and for your support um yeah i just came to close the vlog i was just throwing away the boxes that i took out from um the wardrobes I just felt like they were taking up a lot of space so i was just cleaning that up and yeah but i'm closing the vlog now um and thank you very much i will catch up with you guys on the next one take good care of yourselves Mwah.